Yeah. Now we are going to discuss about the motion. Previous video we have discussed about the measurement. Now we are going to discuss about this motion. First of all, what is this motion, children? Motion means a movement. Motion means a movement, moving from one place to another place at a particular interval of time in a particular distance. Now this motion uh, is uh, obviously followed with the rest. A body which is in continuous movement or motion after that it acquires the rest position rest means keeping the body or object move being in a particular place without any movement is called as a rest now that the motion is also don't think that the movement is the same kind no based upon the uh, direction of the movements that this motion is divided into for mainly so many types of motion is there but in our class in this video we are going to discuss about these four kinds of motions what are they what are they and how can we distinguish from one another let us see now with few examples children now coming to the translation the first kind of motion which we are going to discuss is the translation motion what is this translational motion this translation motion is the moving of an object and along with its parts, all the parts, all the particles are parts of that object moving parallel to each other and in a particular intervals of time is called as translational motion. This translation motion have been again divided into two categories. One is the rectilinear motion. Rectilinear one is the rectilinear motion and other one is the curvilinear motion. One is the rectilinear motion, another one is curvilinear motion. Actually, what is this translation movement motion? The translation motion is the movement of an object parallel to the surface along with its parts, all the parts together parallel to each other moving on a particular surface in a particular intervals of time. This translation motion is again divided into rectilinear and curvilinear. What is this rectilinear? Rectilinear motion means the movement of an object on a straight path. On a straight path, straight is called as a rectilinear. There won't be any curves or bendings, only straight path. The movement of an object on a straight path is called as a rectilinear motion. And the example is a car moving on a straight road. Then coming to what is this curvilinear motion? In the meaning itself, it determines that the movement of an object in the curves, in the curves is called as curvilinear motion. And the car moving on a curved path, the curves, you know about the curves. And this, this is called as curvilinear motion. Even now coming to the next second motion is the rotational motion. What is this rotational motion? The movement of an object on its own axis around itself is called as rotational motion. Now, you might have seen the earth. The earth is rotating itself. From childhood, we are learning how the earth is, earth is rotating around itself on its own axis. This is called as rotational motion. One more movement also it will show. Will you please tell me what is that? revolution but this revolution won't come under rotational movement oh, uh, only rotation of the earth only comes but revolution we cannot include in this uh, motion and now moving a spinning top Spin spinning top means you all know what is a spinning top and this that spinning top also it moves around itself on a particular axis so children rotational motion means uh, the movement of an object around itself on its particular axis is called as a rotational motion. There are a few examples, there are so many examples, but I am discussing only two examples. One is the moving a spinning pad and second one is the rotation of the earth. Next to coming to the third motion is periodic motion. What is this periodic motion? Don't think that you are period. You are period also will come under the periodic motion by means from morning to evening that periods will be repeated every day and a particular time so this periodic motion means the movement of an object 
repeated after a particular time is called as periodic motion. Suppose think of the movement of the hands in a clock. In a clock, the hand starts from 12 minutes. Again, after the completing one round, again it reaches the 12. Like that, the movement, the, move, the movement of an object is repeated after a particular time is called as periodic motion. For example, the movement of the moon, the movement of the moon around the earth. How, many, how much time the moon will take to move around the earth? One month. After one month, wherever the plate started the movement, again it comes to the same place. Even the revolution of the earth. Just now I have said about the rotational motion. In this rotational motion, there are two movements of the earth. One is the rotation and other one is the revolution. Rotation, come, rotation of the earth means moving around its own axis comes under this rotational motion. And in the periodic motion comes the revolution. The revolution of the earth which is moving around the sun, the planets are moving around the sun, those all come under the periodic motion. Why means after once they start in a particular place, after some time, after a period of time, again they will come into the same place, again they come into the same place. That's why it is called as a periodic motion. The examples of this periodic motion is motion of a moon around the earth and motion of the hands in a clock. And now next coming to the oscillatory motion. What is this oscillatory motion? Oscillatory motion means the movement of an object to and fro means front and back front and back and in a say in a particular uh, distance at a particular distance moving in a front at a particular distance and back also same this movement of an object to and fro is called as oscillatory motion suppose think of a child a child is swinging in a is sitting on a swing and he is she is swinging when she is singing, the child will go to certain distance to front side, front part, and again it will, she will come at the back. This kind of a, the to and fro movement of an object is called as an oscillatory motion. And even uh, you can see this pendulum in a clock. There are some there you you might have seen most of the clock with the hands, but there are few clocks with the pendulum which will be oscillating like this and to and the fro. This kind of a movement of an object which has the to and fro motion comes under this oscillatory motion. Now coming to one more thing. There are some objects which have don't think that every object will have only one kind of motion. No children. They will be having the two kinds the same object can show two or three kinds of motions also based upon the situation. Now let us uh, discuss about the few things which shows the different kinds of a two combination of two or three moments. What are they? Let us think of a cricket. You all will be very much fans of this cricket. When the cricketer is thro throwing a ball and the batsman is hitting the ball, the ball is traveling in a straight plane, straight path. So it is the rectilinear motion and, and the ball Will it simply travel? It starts rotating and traveling. It starts rotating, spinning and traveling forward in a straight path. So, rectilinear and as well as rotational motion will take place in the in the in, the, in hitting a ball by a cricketer. Now, coming to a car also. You all know about that car is riding the bicycle when it is going on a road. The car exhibits both rectilinear motion and as well as the rotational motion how means the car moving on a straight path is rectilinear when the curve comes again it shows the curve linear motion again the wheels of those car will be having this rotational motion so three kinds of motions is exhibited by the car when it is moving on a road now coming to the other kinds of motions like uh, uh, there are different kinds of objects which exhibit more than two or three kinds of uh, motions the more than the three kinds of motions hope you all understood about this video children hope you all understood about this video thank you so much for uh, listening to my video